Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're gonna remove an echo from this video. So what this video is talking about is a plugin to remove the echo from the video. Now imagine here, I'm at a site, I'm shooting some video for a client and I got a whole bunch of echo. I mean, the audio is useless or unprofessional. So we need to remove the, the echo from this audio to at least make it a usable audio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this plugin and we're gonna actually use it and remove this echo. So let's check it out and see what we're gonna do at the PC. Let's head over there. So the plugin I'm talking about is Echo Remover 2 by Crumble Pop. And I wanna show you something really interesting is that this plugin is compatible with Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, Logic Pro X, GarageBand, Audition, and DaVinci Resolve. So you can use it in any one of those. So it's pretty cool. Now this is our site, and if you guys wanna grab it, it's 99 bucks. The link will be in the description. Now sometimes you can find some sales, especially for example on Black Friday, and you can grab it a little bit cheaper. All right, so we're gonna test this out in Final Cut Pro with the video you just saw. So let me head on over there, open my Final Cut Pro, and I already have installed the echo remover. So to access it, we're gonna head on over to effects right here, and all the way down here, we got the audio effects. Under that, we have the Crumble Pop folder, and right here, we got the echo remover. So you see this right here, echo remover two. I'm going to drag it into this clip, and this would be almost the same in the other type of editors. So it's inside, right? So right now we're in the video editor. We're gonna head on over to this little speaker, which is the audio editor. And here is Crumble Pop Echo Remover 2. And this is where the settings start. So right here, we're gonna click on this little equalizer right here. And we have the Crumble Pop Echo Remover settings, all right? So right now it's turned off. And if I hit play, we're just gonna see the same audio and the video that you saw at the beginning. And if I click on, it's gonna start removing the, the echo. Now, if you guys don't know what to do around here, there's this little info button that's that tells you every single step that's available in these settings, all right? So right now you can see the audio is pretty low. So I'm just gonna gain, give it a little gain right here. Sorry, let me give it a gain the 12 I can also use the gain over here but since I'm gonna be turning off and on I want to show you how that sounds because if I, if I turn it off without the with adding gain right here it's gonna remove the gain also all right so let's click play we're gonna hear the echo and we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna turn this dial on uh, like a little bit more and more and more until we like it all right so let's start off the video we're gonna hear some echo and we're gonna turn it on right Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to remove an echo from this video. So what this video is talking about is a plugin to remove So now I removed it from and we're going to go now, up. Imagine right? here, I'm at a site, I'm shooting some video for a client and I got a whole bunch of echo. I mean, the audio is useless or unprofessional. So we need to remove the, the echo from this audio to at least make it a usable. Off. Audio. So what we're going to do is we're gonna install this plugin and we're gonna actually use it and remove this echo. So let's check it out and see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna so show you again. Guys, my name is George and this Off. is Master. Today we're gonna remove an echo from this video. So what this video is talking about is a plugin to remove the echo from the video. Now imagine here, I'm at a site, I'm shooting some video for a client and I... All right, so you saw how that worked just by turning on the gain dial right here. Now you got a little bit more settings to tweak over here in the bottom. So if you know the echo is coming through from the lows, mids and highs, you can also tweak this also. So maybe there's no echo on the highs or it's, it's low, right? So you can turn this down and you can tweak to your liking to make it even more further and customizable, right? Um, I found out that this works really great. The, the normal gain, it's just the main gain right here to remove the echo, but you can go a little bit further and customize this. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna render this video with the echo remover at the end, so you can hear the same video from the beginning, but with the echo remover already like activated, right? So you can see the difference with one and the other, but you can see it's pretty easy to use. You just install the plugin, you just put drag it inside the video, turn it on, and just set it to where you like it, and you're done. Now you have usable audio. Instead of having that real, really nasty echo kind of sound that pe most people don't like, then you can use this and fix the audio. Well, all right, guys, I'm heading out with this video, and I'll leave you with the video from the beginning with the echo remover activated. Thank you guys for watching. My name is George, and this is Sassmaster. I'll see you guys later. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to remove an echo from this video. So what this video is talking about is a plugin to remove the echo 
from the video. Now imagine here, I'm at a site, I'm shooting some video for a client and I got a whole bunch of echo. I mean, the audio is useless or unprofessional. So we need to remove the, the echo from this audio to at least make it a usable audio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this plugin and we're gonna actually use it and remove this echo. So let's check it out and see what we're gonna do at the PC. Let's head over there.